Good morning! Welcome to Options Tender! Today is Wednesday 2, 321. So today we're going to go through the ES in multiple time frames to set us up for the day. We are not going to look at individual names right now. The ones that we have for yesterday still stand, but I want to go in depth here on what's happening and why we are getting cautious in the micro term. So, if you like this information, please subscribe. Hit the like button so all those algorithms can help us spread the word and spread the wealth. Now, check this out. Let's dig in. The um, ES is it, it's slightly up, but we have the NASDAQ and the small caps polarized here. So we're, we're not looking for the la like the last two days where we just shot straight up. We're looking for some sort of doji, some sort of indecision, maybe drag us up a little bit to take us down. And I'll go in depth on this in uh, different time frames. So I just want to leave this up just so you could see some uh, polarization here. So a uh, battle between the small caps and mega caps happening. So let's look on the monthly time frame. We are working on wave five right now. MACD is bullish. We had this re potential reversal candle, but we're pushing through there. I do expect us to reach another all-time high. And let's see why. On the weekly. Change the board. Weekly, we are also 3-4 working on wave 5 here. We have that um, resistance, the rising pivot up top. Uh, I do suspect we'll hit that again at some point. We are still technically bullish. We have not crossed over on the MACD. But, you know, maybe it's uh, working out something like this right here. Okay, we'll keep our eye on that. On the daily. The daily trend is my friend. All right, so let's get down a little bit deeper here and see what's happening with the wave count. We have one, two, three, end of three. We came down to in four, rapidly shot to the upside. Now you see this candle forming here on the daily. Uh, we'll see what this ends up being. My suspicion is this will be some sort of doji. Uh, we are on wave five, but uh, we'll go down to a lower time frame and show you that we are also on a minute wave four, a really sub wave four that uh, we need some downside for. And we have the cross on the back D. Momentum's trying to pick to the upside. You see that from the histogram has not crossed. So we're gonna be testing this area. And from what I believe, we're gonna just make ourselves another divergent high um, into resistance and work our way down to the zero line. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty with the 65 minute chart. And remember, we use the 65 minute chart. So all of our candles throughout the trading day are even. All right, I'll start off with this megaphone here. Let's get down. By the way, I want a, a side note. Look at this expected move dragging right across expected move. Tell me this thing doesn't work. This imaginary line. It's it's amazing. So that was our playing field, right? The expected move. I'll put the card up top just in case you're not familiar with the expected moves. And uh, it, it does work on um, individual stocks as well. So we had our A, B, C correction. We, I believe, our count is one, two. Working on the end of wave three. We did make a slight high there so that we might be at the end of three. We'll have to wait for confirmation. And then working out to wave four. So we're really cautious here. We I know that we had Amazon's and, and Google's wonderful earnings, but they can't hold the market all by themselves. So I think they eventually, if they do come up a little higher, I do think they'll um, be dragged down by the rest of the market. Look at this uh, move on the MACD. Crossing over to the downside, that gives us our bear signal. Doesn't mean that we're going to go down yet, but I, I do believe today we start trending to the downside. And then what I'm expecting is divergence to start happening. Okay. And to look at divergence, see, I'm going to draw that line in just a little bit. 
here was our divergence last uh, last week or last two weeks. We had our up move made new all time highs. We had our A B C correction, and then really quickly, and that's what caught us us guard. Made a brand new high while making a lower high on the MACD. That's bearish divergence, and that's when we made our our move to the downside. A big move at that. Okay, so um, reiterate, we, we say this over and over. This is a way for very unpredictable. We, uh, you know, I suspect it could come down here to 37.75, but I wouldn't think of it that way in particular. I mean, look at this way for it just drug, it dragged out, you know, to make this ABC. In the beginning, we thought, hey, A, you know, uh, A, B, um, I'm sorry, A, B, C. And then we're like, okay, okay, that could be the end of it. Uh, we made an ABC back up and then another move down. So, you know, it, it's going to it's gonna try to trick us. It's going to um, do some sort of ABC or um, maybe a triangle, a symmetrical triangle. It could be a, um, a ascending triangle, a zigzag. There's so many options. So, you know, just be careful. Put your protection on. That's what we'll talk about. I'll actually look at one um, stock here today, and that's going to be the VXX because that, that's the one that we're going to get in here early, early on to see if we can, can uh, uh, capitalize on some of this wave four. You can use spy puts as well, but um, don't do anything crazy out of the money, not expecting a crash. Maybe we do test this trend line here. But uh, again, just be cautious. Take your profits early. Don't um, don't linger on in any trades and think that you're um, because you're in the money because you're up on it that you'll you know hold it out. So this is wave four trickiness. And then after that, we start to move up to wave five, and hopefully we'll get up to that uh, all time highs in the top end of the channel. We don't have to reach the top of the channel. Remember that. And so what we'll do here on the MACD will reset itself and we'll come back up, but make a lower high for that divergence. And we'll keep we'll keep doing this every single day in the morning and after the market. So don't you worry about uh, uh, <laughs> you just hit that notification button and we'll show you the divergence as it happens. And uh, you'll you'll be kept in the loop, especially for all you traders that are brand new. You know, stick with us. Don't do anything crazy. Just um, just soak up this information because this it happens over and over and over and these things look different but when you start to get a feel of the market they all kind of look the same okay all right so hit that like button notification so you get all of these and i think that's it for us <laughs> we uh, oh no 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 we're going to go through that uh, vxx want to check out the vxx and show you what's happening here so we're coming back to some sort of this is a uh, pre-market view we have support here plus we had the breakout from the triangle and that's where i think we're testing and i can imagine the vxx is going to go through its wave count as well um first of all its impulse um move to the upside back down for wave one and two and then we'll make our move as soon as uh it's done correcting and the market hits its uh all-time highs and starts to pull back okay so that's a trade idea for you again this this vxx isn't just gonna blow up all of a sudden it's gonna make a pop we're gonna take our profits it'll come back down and uh this will protect our call positions that we have on um uh, what are we in Airbnb? We're in a couple snow. Um, yeah. So anyway, don't want to take up any more time. Good luck trading today. Hit that like button. Thank you.